Hi, this is Congressman Steve Israel. Congratulations to Hofstra University for holding your 19th annual gala. Hofstra is one of the premier academic institutions in America, and you have thrived under the leadership of my friend, President Stu Rabinowitz. I just want to take a moment to recognize the achievements of tonight's honoree and my very dear friend, Jim Diderio. Diderio & Company is the largest manufacturer of musical instrument accessories in the world, and I am so proud it calls Long Island its home. I know Jim not just as a successful business owner, but as a real leader in the fight to promote manufacturing right here in America. I've seen his leadership firsthand. Uh, he served as my co-chair of the Congressional Manufacturing Task Force. I worked very closely with him to develop the Bring the Jobs Home Loan Act. He originated that idea, which would allow the Small Business Administration to offer loans to help manufacturers bring their overseas operations back to the United States. Jim is an advisor. Uh, he's a friend. But I also admire his leadership in setting an example for Long Island's economy by keeping such a strong presence in New York. His success is a credit to his hard work and a testament to the great education that he received at Hofstra University. One more thing. In a world where we're so focused on science, technology, math, and engineering, I want to thank Hofstra and Jim for reminding us that a world without music, a world without creativity, is a pretty empty place. So once again, congratulations to Jim, to President Rabinowitz, and to the entire Hofstra family. And thank you very much. The following program was produced at the media facilities of the Lawrence Herbert School of Communication. He took a little family business and turned it into a worldwide brand. Mr. Daddario's involvement in the arts and his sort of shepherding it through is just really wonderful. Thank you so much, Mr. Daddario. I don't have any other words for how grateful I can be for support like that. We have an exciting and a very fine music program. And a great deal of that is owed to the work of Jim Daddario. Our music faculty, we're a family, and so Jim is a major part of the family. I think what drives us to make better products and to be the innovators we are, our brand is about inspiring performance, about people really wanting to perform, and at every level, we're not just making a string. We're a company that does something special, and, and I think that, you know, that's what I'm most proud of. He is a model alum of Hofstra. He is very philanthropic, not just to Hofstra. He is very civic-minded. He serves as a member of the Regional Economic Development Council for Long Island, which I'm privileged to co-chair. Whenever we go to Albany, he flies to make a presentation in the process. He attributes a lot of his success to his education at Hofstra and gave back. And that's why the board pursued him to join it. He finally had enough time to do so in 2014. And I think he's going to be a great leader of Hofstra. I mean, I was a Long Island boy and I love Long Island. I didn't really want to go away to college. I went my first two years to Nassau Community and then transferred to Hofstra. It was very convenient for me because I was keenly interested in the family business and I was able to start my career while I was still in college. I really was inspired by Herb Deutsch and the fact that he was on the cutting edge of developing synthesizers and I enjoyed his class tremendously, had a tremendous amount of respect for him. I remember Jim as a very good guitar player who was really uh, excited about the whole rock and roll world. Jim wanted to go out into the world because he had a family business. The music business should include understanding traditional music, where it came from and where it is going. Scholarships are absolutely 
the most vital thing right now to be able to help kids that are really qualified to get the right education to be able to afford it. We're proud that we, we have our own little endowment at Hofstra for some music programs and uh, we, we hope to keep adding to that. I'm a senior and I'm a music merchandising major. I really liked that the program was a combination of performance and business. I was looking specifically for a music business program, but a lot of them were very just classroom and Hofstra had the perfect combination of performing and the business side. Even if I'm not gonna go into a career performing, I think it's still important to be doing it if that's what you love. I think he is passionate about everything he does. He's passionate about music. And one of the things that he did for Hostra was to establish a program where our students and our faculty try to spread music appreciation to the community. The Daddario Music Appreciation Initiative. As director of that fund, I could tell you firsthand how much this has helped, certainly for the Hofstra University Music Department. In our quest for quality arts education, we also have funding to bring in world-class, world music scholars and do lectures. And of course, we send our string quartet out. This school year, they went to eight different high schools, which brings us to another successful thing that the grant helps fund, our Black History Month concert. I got an email one day from Professor Chandler in the music department, and I was very excited. I'd never been on the Playhouse stage before, and that was one of the things that sold me about Hofstra. The Playhouse is just so beautiful. Having an event like this is just really wonderful, and it sort of brings a different flavor to a lot of the other events that are held at Hofstra. Thank you so much, Mr. Daddario, for your continued support of Hofstra and the Music Business Scholarship. It means the world to us and specifically to me. I really appreciate Mr. Daddario for, you know, making sure that his patronage can make something like this happen. I am honored to be able to thank you for the work that you have done for so many of us over so many years. It has left an indelible mark on this department, and the community in general. So on behalf of everyone involved, grazie, grazie, grazie. Thank you. I want to congratulate Jim D'Addario on being honored tonight and for allowing us to honor him. Uh, I want to thank you for your contributions, past, present, and future. And I want to thank every single person who attends tonight for contributing to our scholarship program, which allows us to retain and attract the very best students in the nation. Thank you. <laughs>